Hello and welcome to my talk. In this talk, we introduce an efficient model error model update strategy for multi-stage NMPC with model error model. I am Shakti Tangavel and I work in Process Dynamics and Operations Group from Dortmund, Germany. I would like to begin the talk with a short motivation. We are interested in the optimal operation of the process and this can be achieved using model-based controllers. Among model-based controllers, the model predictive control is the most prominently used in the process industries because of its ability to handle multiple input, multiple output systems with constraints with relative ease. Model predictive control uses a plant model to predict the future behavior of the plant and optimize its control input. It can be seen in the figure that the blue line represents the past states and then the green line represents the predicted future states and only the first control input is applied to the plant. At the next point in time, once a new measurement information becomes available, the optimization problem is reinitialized at the plant measurements and it is resolved again. One of the major issues with such schemes is the presence of plant model mismatch. In the presence of plant model mismatch, the measurements, which is represented by blue, may not correspond to the predicted measurements, which is shown by green, and this may lead to constraint violation as shown in the figure or it may even lead to performance degradations or instability. Such a situation can be avoided using robust MPC approaches. Several robust MPC approaches exist in literature. The most prominent one are shown here. The min-max MPC optimizes for the worst case realization of the uncertainty. Whereas the tube MPC consists of two controllers one is called the nominal controller, which gives the nominal trajectory. The ancillary controller tracks the nominal trajectory in the presence of uncertainty. Then we have the multi-stage NMPC, which models uncertainty by a tree of discrete scenarios. This takes into account the presence of future feedback information, hence it is less conservative when compared to other robust NMPC approaches. These robust controllers handles the presence of disturbances and parametric mismatches present in the nominal model of the plant quite efficiently. Normally, we have the true plant dynamics which are given by these equations and they are unknown. But what we know from the plant are the measurements which we obtain from them. The nominal model of the plant are given by these equations. These equations can be obtained using the physical laws. More often, there exists a structural plant of model mismatch between the true plant model and the nominal model. Handling the structural plant model mismatch present in the nominal model of the plant is still an open area of research. Robust NMPC approaches introduced earlier capture the plant model mismatch as an additive disturbance and handle them in a robust NMPC framework. In our recent work, we showed that these schemes are in general very conservative and can be improved using a model error model to capture the plant model mismatch. In this work, we propose a new model error model update strategy for the multi-stage NMPC using model error model whenever the observed measurements invalidates the model error model used inside the multi-stage NMPC. The rest of my talk is organized as follows. At first, I would explain the multi-stage NMPC in detail. Then I will be explaining the model error model and how it can be integrated with the multi-stage NMPC to be robust against structural plant model mismatch. Then I will be explaining the proposed model error model update strategy followed by the simulation studies. And finally, I would conclude the paper with a summary and the current work. The robust multi-stage NMPC models uncertainty by a tree of discrete scenarios as shown here. The current measurements becomes the root node of the scenario tree and this branches into different scenarios depending upon the realization of the uncertain parameters. At the next stage, the measurement information becomes available and the control inputs are computed accordingly. The scenario tree grows as shown here. One should note that the controller should not anticipate the future realization of the uncertainty before it is actually realized. That is. The control decisions taken with the same information must always be the same and this is enforced using the so-called non-anticipativity constraints. One could clearly see that the scenario tree of the multi-stage NMPC grows exponentially along the prediction horizon and this can be avoided using the so-called robust horizon. The uncertainty realization is assumed to remain constant after the robust horizon and the scenario tree grows as shown here. In practice, in the presence of continuous valid uncertainty, the scenario tree is often built for the minimal, nominal and maximum values of the uncertain parameters. 
The idea behind model error model come from linear robust control theory from the 1980s and 90s. They were used to dynamically bound the uncertainty. It was used in a robust multi-stage NMPC framework for the first time in this paper. The model error model is used to capture the structural uncertainties. It can be built using the observed measurements. Here in this figure, the black dot represents the plant measurements and the blue line represents the model predictions. The model error model can be obtained using the past measurements such that it tightly captures the observed uncertainty as shown in the figure. The pink shader region here represents the uncertainty described by the model error model. Such a model error model can be obtained by using a structure as given here. It consists of a linear model followed by an unknown nonlinear operator with bounded gain and the model error model is computed such that the nominal model along with it can describe the observed measurements. It is to be noted that the true plant states may not be same as the model states. Here, the projection operator P projects the true plant states onto the model states. The mathematical structure of such a model error model is given here. It consists of a linear model and a nonlinear operator, which is unknown, but with an amplification between plus or minus 1, which is used to replicate the observed measurements. The model error model can be obtained from the past measurements by solving an optimization problem. The formulation of the optimization problem to obtain the model error model if we consider the system matrix of the linear model present in it as a diagonal matrix is shown here. The objective function is chosen to minimize the uncertainty region described by the model error model. This constraint makes sure that the norm of the nonlinear operator present in the model error model is bounded by 1. This also ensures that the nominal model along with the model error model can describe the observed measurement. A stable linear model is obtained using this constraint. The multi-stage NMPC with model error model uses the nominal model of the plant along with the model error model. That is, the model error model is augmented to the nominal model equations as shown here. The robustness of the multi-stage NMPC scheme depends on the accuracy of the model error model used, which in turn is dependent on the quality of the data used to construct it. As mentioned before, the model error model is built based on the past data. In order to take into account the effect of unknown errors, some back-off is needed. This is achieved by introducing a tuning parameter called the robust factor. In addition to this, the model error model is updated based upon the observed measurement in the initial work. The scenario tree of the multi-stage NMPC with MEM is built based upon the chosen robust factor. If the robust factor is chosen to be 1, the region described by the scenario tree of the multi-stage NMPC is similar to the uncertainty region described by the past measurements. If we consider a value of robust factor greater than 1, an uncertainty region bigger than the 1 described by the past measurements is considered by the multi-stage NMPC scheme as shown here. Once the new measurements from the plant become available, the gain of the unknown nonlinear operator is computed as shown in this paper. If the induced infinity norm of the nonlinear operator is not less than or equal to 1, then the model error model along with the nominal model cannot replicate the observed measurements. Hence, the MEM is invalidated. If the MEM is invalidated, then the gain of the linear model present in the MEM is updated such that the induced infinity norm of the nonlinear operator is always less than 1 even for the observed measurements. This enables the MEM along with the nominal model to replicate the observed measurements. One of the issues with the MEM update strategy proposed in the initial work is that if the MEM is invalidated, then adjusting only the gain of the linear model present in the MEM increases the uncertainty region at all frequencies as shown in the figure. The black line represents the gain plot of the linear model present in the MEM obtained using the past measurements and the magenta line indicates the gain plot of the linear model present in the updated MEM if the current measurements invalidate the MEM. This can be avoided using the proposed MEM update strategy. In this, the entire linear model present in the model error model is recomputed if the MEM is invalidated. The uncertainty region described by the updated MEM captures the uncertainty at different frequencies depending upon the observed measurements as shown in the figure. The proposed strategy should take into account two major factors while updating the model error model. At first, 
it should check whether there is a sufficient level of excitation in the input signal which is applied to the plant. If this condition is not satisfied, then the influence of the plant model mismatch cannot be captured correctly and the model error model updated using the observed measurement will result in undesirable performance. The new model error model built using the observed me measurements should contain the information provided by the MEM obtained using the past measurements. That is, the gain of the linear model present in the MEM obtained using the observed measurements represented by the blue line in the figure should always be greater than the gain of the linear model described by the offline data at all frequency represented by the black line. The existence of sufficient level of excitation in this input signal can be checked using the following condition. The matrix given here should be a non-singular matrix. If the condition for the existence of persistent signal is satisfied, then the model error model can be obtained by solving an optimization problem formulated as given here. The objective function is chosen such that it minimizes the uncertainty region described by the observed measurements and the deviation between the uncertainty region described by the past and the current model error model. Here, alpha is a tuning parameter. If alpha is chosen close to 1, more weights is given to the to reduce the uncertainty region described by the current measurement. The constraint given here makes sure that the uncertainty region described by the new model error model contains the uncertainty described by the MEM obtained using the offline data at all frequencies. For the derivation of this constraint, please refer to the paper. We chose a continuous strip tank reactor case study from this paper to show the advantage of the proposed model error model update scheme over the update scheme presented in the initial work. The actual reaction scheme under consideration is given here. The true plant dynamics are obtained by molar balance and energy balances. We assume that the nominal model does not model the exothermic reaction taking place between B to C. In addition to this, we assume the dynamics of the cooling jacket are not modeled. The resulting nominal model of the plant is given here. The objective is to maximize the number of moles of product B produced per hour while respecting the constraints on the reactor temperature. We choose the robust factor for the multi-stage NMPC with model error model as 2.0. The simulation results obtained when the plant is controlled using standard NMPC under the assumption the true plant model known is given here. The top plot shows the concentration of product B. The second plot shows the reactor temperature along with its constraints marked with red dashed lines. The third plot shows the number of moles of product B produced per hour. The objective of the NMPC is to maximize the area under this curve. The last plot shows the control input applied to the plant. It can be seen that the standard NMPC with the true plant model feeds as much as possible while respecting the constraints on the reactor temperature and maximize the number of moles of product B produced per hour. This is used as a base case for comparing the results obtained using robust NMPC schemes. The results obtained when the plant is controlled using the standard NMPC with the nominal model of the plant is given here. The nominal model does not model the exothermic reaction taking place between B to C, hence the standard NMPC feeds more reactants into the reactor and this results in a violation in the reactor temperature constraints. This data is used to build the model error model which will be used in a multi-stage MPC framework to handle structural plant model mismatch. The simulation results obtained when the plant is controlled using multi-stage NMPC with model error model update proposed in the initial work are shown here. On the right hand side, the gain of nonlinear operator computed using the observed measurements is plotted. It can be seen that the gain of the nonlinear operator is greater than 1 for some cases for concentration of product B and the reactor temperature. This infers that the measurement point obtained at those points invalidates the model error model and the gain of the linear model present in the MEM has to be updated as mentioned before. The invalidation happens because the MEM is built based upon the data collected when the plant is controlled using the standard NMPC with the nominal model of the plant but the multi-stage NMPC with the MEM drives the plant to a new region where the plant data is not collected. It can be seen that the estimated induced norm of the non-linear operator is less than the chosen robust factor at all times. This guarantees robust constraint satisfaction of the robust multi-stage NMPC with the MEM if the NMPC optimization problem is feasible. The performance can be further improved using the proposed model error model update strategy. The proposed model error model update tightly bounds the observed plant model mismatch and results in a better performance. It results in a small back off from the constraints when compared to the MEM update strategy proposed in the initial work and produce more number of moles of product B per hour.
The gain plot of the linear model present in the MEM after model update at 0.25 hours obtained using different MEM update strategies are shown in this figure. It can be seen that the proposed approach captures the uncertainty in the higher frequency without adding larger uncertainties in the lower frequency, whereas the update strategy proposed in the initial work adds additional uncertainty to all frequency and equal amount based upon the observed measurements. The simulation results obtained using different NMPC strategies along with their computational times are reported here. It can be seen that the normal NPC results in a constant violation whereas there is a 8% increase in the number of moles of product be produced using the new update strategy when compared to the update strategy proposed in the initial work. There is a slight increase in the computational time of the proposed scheme is due to the computation of the model error model by solving an online optimization problem when compared to the existing approach where the gain of the linear model present in the MEM can be updated using simple matrix operations. Finally, I would like to summarize the talk here. We use the model error model to capture the unmodeled dynamics present in the nominal model of the plant. The MEM is used in a robust multi-stage NMPC framework to be robust against structural plant model mismatch. In this paper, we proposed a novel model error model update strategy to update the MEM whenever the observed measurements invalidates the MEM. The new update strategy results in a better performance when compared to the update strategy presented in the initial work. Our future work will focus on testing the multi-stage NMPC with model error model on a more complex case study. Some of the relevant works carried out by us in this direction are listed here. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or if you want to know in detail about this topic, please don't hesitate to contact me using the forum or you can write me an email using the following email address.